From RF Smart, this is Taking Inventory, a podcast all about better controlling your supply chain and improving inventory management. Now your host, Abby Bennett. Welcome back to Taking Inventory. I'm your host, Abby Bennett. Today's episode, we are highlighting a customer story from our good friends at WPS. If you want to hear about improved supply chain training, efficiency, and streamlined shipments, this is the episode for you. So with that, let me welcome our guest today, Luis Quiroz. Luis, welcome to the podcast. Hi, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you guys today. Before we get into your customer story, will you take a moment and share what your role is at WPS and what you guys do? Yes, I'm the warehouse manager. I've been with our company for four years. We're an independent publisher in educational and psychological assessments and any related intervention materials. I joined the team, read their story, really kind of dissected what they were about, and they had just so much ambition to make an impact. And that spoke to me made me realize that this team thinks in a different way and they were really passionate about what they were bringing to the market. So many of our customers are very mission focused and I know WPS is that way as well. What were some of those bottlenecks you were aiming to improve with this new technology? So we used to operate with a different product and it used to be 30 steps to get one step done. And we really want to improve efficiency. Plus the training on it, it was a big investment in order for somebody to recall 30 different steps to get to one function. It took a long time and we wanted to make sure that we streamlined that onboarding process. We weren't looking necessarily for plug and play. We are looking for a system that's able to be three steps and you're there with one of them being the login. The next one is actually the function you're looking for and then executing the actual task. And we wanted to make sure that we were also able to collect data. A lot of the data was being collected manually. And for us to be able to look at our smart reporting, to be able to look at different KPIs, our smart in conjunction with NetSuite really just laid it out there for us. It allowed us to do more with less. And because they work together seamlessly, it helped us out right away. That is such a consistent story that we hear with many of our customers. They know NetSuite's such a powerful and capable ERP, and they want to tack on some type of supply chain management to really optimize all processes together, which is certainly a big undertaking, but something we see a lot. And I'm happy to hear that that's worked so well for your team. Let's talk a little bit about the RF Smart touch points in your warehouse. For many of our customers, you're kind of approaching these implementations with the mindset of how can this technology work for us? How can all of these things benefit the efficiency of our team? With that idea in mind of making technology work for you, can you share where RF Smart is involved in your warehouse? In our warehouse, it's actually utilized and permits throughout the warehouse. So in our receiving area, inventory control, in our assembly and production area, in our shipping process. Throughout the whole way through our logistics, it's implemented. In our receiving side, we used to be tied down to a computer. Everything used to have to be done within three to four feet. And we have to have a computer per user. For us to have our smart, it's easier. You're able to kind of move around. Our whole county process changed from cycle counting one item at a time to now cycle counting zones which allowed us to pinpoint areas where we were having variants. We were able to double check whether or not it was tied to a certain user, a certain group. What was it? Trying to identify, was it the product itself? Maybe we were ordering in cases that were too big. We just finished up our annual wall-to-wall count. We had a variance of $84. Anybody that's in warehouse management, an $84 variance, I'll take that every day. That's where we saw the most tracking and availability with our smart. We were really able to focus in, take a look at it. And once again, because of simultaneously communicating to NetSuite, we were able to also see that data in NetSuite, pull reporting. Our finance teams were able to pull reporting. Our accounting teams were able to pull reporting from the data that we were collecting. We've used it for picking. Everything that has to do with picking sales order. And now we're in the process of implementing our smart shipping solution, which once again, taking a look at all the potentials that that system has, has been great. That gives a good overview of when we say, where is our smart in your warehouse? A lot of times the answer is pretty much everywhere. But like you said, always transmitting that data in real time back to NetSuite, keeping that as the source of truth, which is really important for companies like yours to have that live accuracy and visibility into their stock levels. What has the improved accuracy been able to do for your team in the warehouse and outside? The biggest thing was to make sure that inventory reporting was accurate because it allows us to support anything within sales and customer service. Our customers are everything for us. And I know it sounds kind of cliche, but we actually live it. Because of that, we wanted to make sure that if a school district clinician reached out to us asking us for a test that needs to be sent out next day, we have it readily available. It's key. Accuracy is key for us. 
And in our smarts, we are able to see that real-time tracking. We are able to see the locations, where it's at. It's been great to have as a tool and really on the research side, because we're able to track the movements for us to be able to look at in trends and bins, be able to take a look at what the last time a bin was counted. There's a lot of things that we were not able to do. And if we did, we would have to do them very manually in our old process. I love that you said you're able to almost research things that are happening in your warehouse. So you're going from a place of limited visibility, which is a lot of customers before they switch over to RF Smart. They're not quite sure what they don't know until they know it. And they're like, how did we move and how did we operate without this information? You also mentioned ease of use and training. And I'd love to hear about this. Luis has a reputation at RF Smart for having a great training program for the staff on his team. So tell me a little bit about what training looks like with RF Smart and what that ease of use means for your team. The number one thing that we do whenever we're going to onboard somebody is try to see what's the menu that's going to be best for them to get acclimated. We don't want to overwhelm an onboarded employee, whether it be to our assembly, receiving, shipping, inventory team. So we have customized our menus depending on the role that we're trying to fit. Being able to add and remove functions is very easy for us. It's pretty much three clicks and you're there. It doesn't take much. That helps out. But training is crucial. We go through our whole onboarding plan. One of our goals in our onboarding plan is for them to get acclimated with Smart. We understand there's a lot of people that don't come in with that knowledge or, or just don't understand it. So we want to make sure that we get them acclimated to it. One of the first things that we do, besides going through their onboarding plan and going through step-by-step, -step, introducing them to the team, we show them how we used to do it, the old process. This is how we used to track our inventory. This is how we used to pick. They get bored of that really quickly. And then we tell them our smart toy and they pretty much go, oh, wow, how did you guys live so long with that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it took a while. We write process documents internally with some of that information and some of the screenshots that you guys have in your guys' health support area really helps us out as well. We are able to download some of that information and give it to them. You guys even have a vocabulary of every single function. What does it mean? What does it do? But we give that to them as well. And then the next step is just getting them out there on the work floor, being able to say, here you go. We're going to give you a trainer. They're going to walk right behind you. It doesn't take longer than a couple of hours before an employee feels comfortable. That's crucial for us. I really like the idea of showing them how far you've come from a technology perspective. Not only does it set your team up for success in wanting to use the product, but it gives them the opportunity to see that these kind of optimizations are continuing to be made. We're going to continue to find ways to leverage technology to make your life easier as a staff member and delight your customers as well. We talked about your RF Smart story from receiving and that you basically moved all the way through over to shipping. And like you said, you are now in the process of using RF Smart shipping, which is something that a lot of our customers are seeing great success with. Tell me a little bit about some of the productivity and functional improvements that you've seen with RF Smart shipping so far. Some of the biggest changes that we've seen has been user friendliness. Very seldomly do you find someone that is entered into the role that is a shipping expert, knows everything, knows when to charge, what accounts, at what time. So we have a lot of customized rules for our customers. We have customers that sometimes only want certain shipments to ship on their account. Sometimes they want it to ship to a different location. So working with your team, able to create rules where it's pretty much automated, it, it does give you a screen showing you, you cannot move on to step two until you have completed step one. With being able to not have to think about the next step over the next step, international shipping has been great for us. There's a lot of different terminology, a lot of different reference codes. We set up rules behind it, whether it has to be communicating commercial invoice data. We could write all these rules on the background, but we don't have to go back and tell the employee that is actually performing the task to go ahead and do it. It's hands free, it's scanner based. I'll be honest with you, I did not believe that from the get go because that's what's been told before from other platforms. But it was actually surprising when we get through the whole testing phase that we're like, wow, I've gone into step four and I still yet to touch my keyboard. Great. That just shows the efficiency of the system. You're able to do all these steps without necessarily having to go back. It also can catch errors within itself. It helps our customer service because right now customer service have to enter all these notes referenced on the sales order, asking them to ensure that you reference this on the packet slip for us to be able to automate that role where it's always going to be tied to the customer. I was very happily surprised that you could actually tie it to the item. We're able to then offer that same level of service to all our customers that are purchasing one particular item versus just that one customer that has requested it. That's been great for our entire team with not having to memorize all this information and refer back to their notes, gives them the confidence really to just be able to move on to the next step. And it gives us the confidence that they are going to be able to move to the next step as a manager. Their success really depends on you and you want to make sure that you are providing them the best tools possible to be able to accomplish that success. 
without impacting anybody themselves, the customer, our whole workflow. This is easier for everybody. That is so encouraging to hear. And I think something you said will really resonate with a lot of listeners is that you as a manager are giving your employees the tools to really be successful in their work. And one of the upstream, downstream impacts we've seen is that the user experience for staff on the warehouse floor becomes better with the use of RF Smart. And that ultimately for me and for my team would be the best outcome that you're not only fulfilling your orders and your customer experience better with our products, but your team is having a better experience. Can you tell me a little bit about RF Smart's impact on your teammates as they use the product? All the feedback that I've gotten from my team has been positive. Very user-friendly is probably the first thing that I hear from them. When we're onboarding somebody, log in, that's it. If you need to reset your password, don't worry, just come talk to me. You don't got to go talk to IT. That alone gives them a lot of confidence. I can customize their menus as they feel that they're growing. We do one-on-one meetings and they feel like I'm able to do this other function. I'll have that dialogue with them. And once again, as a manager, be able to say, yes, you're ready for this step or no, you're not ready. This is the steps that we need to implement to get you there. Other feedback has been that the unwritten rules, the having to not memorize 20 rules for one individual customer allows them to think of other things, concentrate on other stuff, whether it be increasing their accuracy, which is what we see the most, overall productivity, being able to see them go back and be able to research their own stuff. And these webinars that you guys set up, podcasts, We allow the team to listen to them. So when they come to me with questions, it's the questions with possible solutions. That makes me really excited to hear that the webinars and the podcast and all those things are helping them leverage those tools even more. We talk a lot about, from a manager perspective, what this means, how it's helping your efficiency, how the numbers are getting better, how you have more visibility, but so refreshing to hear and exciting to hear that at the end of the day, the users on the floor are having a better experience. Before we wrap up, I wanted to give you a chance to share about the future and your upcoming plans with your technology optimizations. One of your core values is build relationships that last and it piggybacks off ours. We have your back. We've so enjoyed this partnership and certainly looked forward to this conversation and the many more to come. What are some of your plans for supply chain optimizations in the future? What are you looking forward to? Right now, we're just trying to really get down to KPIs and reporting. We want to be able to hold a certain department or a function or a process to a certain standard, but it only takes you as far as that you can kind of prove it and put it in numbers. We're also demanding a certain productivity from an individual, but give them historical data of how they have improved. Being able to say, yes, you made an error, but at the same time, you shipped out 10,000 orders. We're able to offer reporting to our upper management. That's really what we want to do. Show them all the optimizations that we have made. We want to be able to take a look back and validate the investment that was made. RSmart has been great for us. I really am looking towards the future and just be able to implement it in new areas. This has been by far the most information and data that we've been able to have. We've been collecting it since we started implementation. And now we can look at it year over year. It's funny that you mentioned our whole core values and the relationship. Earlier, we discussed about having a training program out here. We are based in Torrance, California. Visitors are able to come out and take a look at our process. It allows us to see how they're leveraging it as well. There's some people that come here that are 20 steps ahead of us, but there's also some people that are about 20 steps behind us. I'm looking forward to a couple of more opportunities to do that. It adds a lot of value to both parties. And obviously, so that applies the relationship that our smart has with us and reach out to other companies. So if any of you want to reach out, feel free. We are always open to have a conversation. Yes, we will have all their information down below, but certainly get in touch. You can email us and we'll connect you. But we love to see those relationships being made between customers, prospects and customers, because at the end of the day, you're all having very similar goals of providing a great customer experience through their supply chain. If we can be a part of facilitating that, we'd love to. Luis, I just really appreciate the time you took to meet and us being able to share this with our listeners. If you are listening and you want to learn more about any of our solutions or even WPS themselves, please see the resources we have linked below in our show notes. As always, please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts, including Apple, Google, Spotify, or on our website at rsmart.com slash podcasts. Luis, thank you so much for sharing with us today. And to our listeners, we will catch you on the next one. Thank you, Abby, for your time.